In today's video, we talk about a Jurassic Park set. We talk about the new Land Rover Classic. And we tackle the ocean in the city. So let's get into it. Hello and welcome to a special vlog episode of Bricks and Toys. My name is Brandon and I want to start off this video by talking about two tiny little Lego sets that we picked up between last month and the first of this month. The sets I'm talking about is the Jurassic Park set and the Land Rover Defender set. So let's go ahead, let's talk about those two sets, and then let's go ahead and get into the actual meat and potatoes, the project of today's video. So starting off, as you guys saw on the July 1st video, I did pick up a Jurassic Park set. I did make a whole video in June saying if you wanted me to pick up any sets and review them, to which I got no response. So I picked up the one that achieved the mission that I had, and I am just going to do a quick review on it right now. So the set I decided to pick up was this it was set number 76958, the Dilophosaurus Ambush. That's what it looks like. Now, what drew me in on this set is this is the set where the guy gets his just desserts. There's a funny thing with some Barbasol in there. And overall, the dinosaur looks pretty cool and I thought my kid would dig it. Now, it's been a while since I, I watched this movie, but I kind of re remember the scene vaguely. But this was one of the cheaper sets at $20 US. And the important thing about this is this puts a Jeep in my campground area, which is super important. I really would like more off-road vehicles. I got the ambulance. I got the plane hidden back there. And now I have the Jeep and the Land Rover. We'll get the Land Rover in a, in a minute. So this does feature this little island pod thing. And it does have... The can of Barbasol just chilling in there, printed element. I guess the playability is, is it's supposed to hit and it's supposed to fall back and fall off. Overall, this is not a really important part of the set. All these are sticker elements. So there is that aspect of the set. They did use a frog, if I can point that out, as the Barbasol foam. Next up, we do have the little dinosaur the Dilophosaurus. Roar! Roar! Or as I like to say, the Dilphosaurus. You know, dad I like to have fun with. Dilphosaurus. Dad humor. And the meat and potatoes of the of the set is the Jeep. I really like the Jeep. Looks really cool. Finally have an off-road Jeep for the city. It is a little bit big, but when it's off the beaten path, you really don't see how it doesn't fit too well. And the roof does come off, and it does feature our little minifig. So overall, the set was super easy to build. It was super um, fun, and it's now for the city. Next up, we do have the LEGO Creator. This is set number 40650, the Land Rover Classic Defender. This one is 15 US dollars, and it's kind of a miniature version of the bigger one. And the car of that set looks like, looks like this. And the roof does come off to reveal the cute little minifigure that it comes with. She does have a pineapple shirt on it, but the pineapples are upside right, so I guess as long as the as long as the Land Rover's like this, we're all good. But if the Land Rover goes upside down and the pineapples on her shirt are upside down, then that means that she's ready to party. Don't you guys just love dad jokes or humor? of that sort. 
So the only issue with this is, is I did find the build just a little bland. So I want to make, make out like that song back in the day from Rich Boy when we're all were teenage millennials. You know, throw some D's on that. Do you guys remember that from back in the day? So what I'm going to do is, is I, I picked out these rims and I want to put some rims on it and really make it pop. I love how you can configure Lego like this because then that just completely transforms the look of the vehicle. And these are the wheels out of four different styles that I had that my wife and I decided to pick out. And then for the spare tire, to add some depth to it, I put another cover on it. Just a black five spoke cover. So that's these sets right here in a nutshell. Overall, really good sets. You can pick both these up for a combined of $35, which is not bad when it comes down to Lego. These sets will be in the off-road section of my town. And with this, you guys also learned that you guys can throw some D's on this. <laughs> Never gets old. So there is that. Now, the meat and the taters of the video. I have three pab cups here that have to go into the city. Now, not all of it, but I do have some of this nice light azure color and some dark blue half cheese slopes and some trans light blue two by one brick. And what I want to do is I, I want to focus and put all this stuff today into the Lego city. So now I'm going to pop you guys off the camera and show you guys what we're talking about. And then after that, we're going to go right into a time lapse of taking apart the ocean, taking apart the lighthouse and dropping everything down and getting everything to, to work as it should. So now we come into the city and we can talk about the problems. Then the problems are pretty simple. I should not have put the lighthouse on a mills plate. That was a mistake. And I also should not have put any of this blue water on a mills plate. Everything should be flush with one plate thickness like this. So now I got to go back and fix all of that. Now it's okay with the lighthouse because I can honestly just drop it down to the plate and just use one layer of these plates to work it in and I think that'll look fine. So I don't got to take it completely back apart. I can use that but still it's a bummer. So now let's go ahead, let's hop into a time lapse. We're going to go back and forth between the desk and here, and we're going to start getting this all done for you guys. So enjoy the time lapse. So we are through our first step of deconstruction. You can see now we're down to the base plate. I did keep one plate of tile on here because we are going to still use that. But as you can see, we're down to all the mills plating studs or bricks. So now our next step is to make something out of the fishing store and also drop down the lighthouse back down to that lower level. So now let's make a special plate for the fishing store. That's gonna look like a rock foundation with water and then do something with this. So that's gonna be the next time lapse. Now this will be the final time 
that we take a time lapse break. After this, I will be showing you the final product. So nothing has really changed over here, but look at the transformation over here. Now you can see how we have some land going into the water all around. Dark to light to lightest blue. This will all be tiled over just like in the Ninjago set that I have up there when I get those bricks. But for now, the lighthouse is converted, fishing stores converted, the in-between sections converted, and now we're starting to come out. Now we need to start blocking off this sand and get a, a good shore made as our next project. So, onwards with the work. And now our final update of where we landed. And of course we landed in parts purgatory. So let's just get the elephant out of the room. This blue, I need more of this light azure blue, whatever it's called, because it needs to come down to here and all the way up into here. Now I do need to get more tan tiles. I need to run tan all the way through here and through. Because if you look at the way that this is coming along, starting off here, we put this back down on a plate. This is in the deepest part of the ocean, so it's that dark blue. But then as we come up over here, we have the lighter blue, which symbolizes a more shallower ocean. But I kind of did it where it kind of looks like a little bit of a drop off, because with my experience with forestry and water, a sharp edge on a forest going into water with some stonework looks always the best. So I, I went with that method here. And as you can see, I'm kind of running the tan tiling where I can slope up into the edge. I think that's the right method. It's just getting to figure out the way that water works and applying it. I did throw down a bunch of random slopes I still need to get all the rest of my tiles to tile in this ocean, but so far this looks a lot better. Hell of a lot more pro productive day today. So now let's go back to the desk and wrap up this video. Well guys, that wraps it up for another vlog update in the city. Now let me know in the comments below if you think I'm on the right path. Basically, all we did is we got rid of the mills plating of the ocean. I guess in the rule book of building a Lego city, you do not mills plate your ocean. And that's why they don't want you to mills plate Ninjago, is because it's supposed to be the base plate, plate, and then water tile, or transparent tiles, to be exact. So that's what we're doing here. We're going base plate, plate, and then water transparent tiles of all different types of colors to really get that uneven choppiness effect of water. I think it looks a hundred times better. It adds so much more depth into the city than everything being flat. So I think I'm on the right path. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I just want to say thank you for all of your support. I see that the new builds are doing very okay on the channel, which is very good. I have been really concerned lately that people are losing interest because my June analytics were so far down from May's analytics. Difference being is I did do a lot of Star Wars in May versus in June. But don't worry guys, if you guys are holding on for, for the Star Wars stuff, Star Wars is coming back in August. There's a whole bunch of new Star Wars stuff that we're going to review in August. So we got one Star Wars build this month, and then a whole bunch of other really cool stuff that I say, hold on guys, that's coming down the pipeline. A lot of three and a half to 6,000 piece sets, 
just coming on down. I mean, it's a big month here on the channel. So, so far, thank you for subscribing and supporting the channel and helping me get through this period of, I guess, according to my analytics, stuff that isn't all that interesting. I wish that people found it more interesting, but unfortunately, it is what it is. Star Wars is the king of Lego, YouTube, and the analytics show it. So with that, I just want to say thank you one more time for watching my video. Please like, share, and subscribe. And on that one, please have a very good rest of your day, night, or whenever it is that you're watching.